There exists a creature so small in scale it couldn't possibly pose a threat to you. So why do you fear it? One needn't look far for the answer once it becomes apparent just what these formidable creatures are capable of. These are the bug types. Hey guys, it's Andy, aka LG. I'm joined here by Poketai, aka Pockety. I am both of those things. And we're here for day five, four of the 12 days of Pokemon types. And as you can see by the uh, the intro and the title, today's going to be another two-parter. First, we'll be beginning with the bug type. So, Pockety, uh, what, uh, what's your favorite bug type Pokemon? Well, I am going to do it first for either of us. I'm going to specify that my favorite bug type is specifically Mega form of Heracross. X and Y were the first games that I got into competitive battling, as we have discussed in this series and probably other times. And my very first team had Mega Heracross. I loved it. We did very well together. We played many, many games together. Yeah, it showed you some new things with the with the game, like the ability skill link. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Taught you what that was. And yeah, I mean, I just I love the ability. I love its typing, its coverage. You know, I understand Heracross was competitive from i don't know about gen 2 but at least gen 3 and onward it was always competitive but i never really used regular hair cross and you know i had one that i trained up in x and y but i never used it it was always the mega hair cross that was just and i like i like its look a lot better too so you know what do you think about mega hair cross uh, i like it too uh i've i haven't used it competitively as much as you have but when i have used it you know it did well for me like i really like it my only complaint is of course speed which i'm surprised you didn't mention as one of the things you don't like about it because i know i know you see that speed and i know you're not happy about it i mean if we're talking about its speed we got to talk about my entire first team my main team of x and y and i i had planned for its speed i had sticky webs okay well you know like i said there, there's ways to mitigate that with like sticky web you can even go trick room etc but overall it's just a very powerful breaker very good pokemon one that i kind of wish i could have used more back when i had a chance but yeah i i like it okay, so then what is your favorite bug type well i'm also going to do a first and I'm actually going to have a gen 8 pokemon that being sent scorch <laughs> This might just be because of a uh, new toy syndrome where I'm only liking something as much because it's new and I'm using it and liking it. But yeah, just the baby form. I, mean, I, I can't even remember it, its name. I just know it as Buggy. It, it's <laughs> this cute little red bug. But when it evolves into Scorch and gets coil, it's obviously it, it has to face comparisons with things like Volcarona. But by itself just standalone it's so good like it's based off a of house centipede and those are you know terrifying creatures yeah Santa scorch just i haven't even used it competitively yet and i can't wait to do so because i already love this thing uh, any thoughts on that uh, i mean i don't really have thoughts on it um i had i have one i you know i caught it and the baby and i grew it up and uh, yeah, I mean, it seems cool. Uh, I like firebug typing. That seems cool, too. Uh, I mean, I like it more in this mod than in other mods that share that type. I don't really know why. It just it seems more like a firebug. So I'm not... I mean, I am surprised. I didn't know you loved it that much, but I, I'm not like, that's a terrible decision. How dare you? Okay. Uh, what, what? Who else were you considering? For for my honorable, honorable mentions, I had... Right. I had regular Heracross, uh, who I prefer to uh, Mega Heracross. I don't really know why. It, it's weaker. It, it is a little faster, but I think just because I like the uh, Guts, Flame Orb, you know, Facade, that set, as opposed to the Mega set. But 
all around Heracross is just a, a good Pokemon. Mega is good too, but Heracross was in my honorable mentions. Also in my honorable mentions was Volcarona. Uh, like I said, had to compete with Scorch, and for the moment at least, I'm going with Scorch over it. Uh, but Volcarona is, is not to be messed with. Uh, it's got that uh, insane sweeping capability that everyone fears. And yeah, it's done so much for me. So hard to decide, but ultimately went with Scorch this time. What do you have to say about Heracross and Volcarona? I mean, they're both cool. Like I said, I made it very clear my preference of Heracross forms. Volcarona is, you know, it's cool. It's not my favorite uh four times week to rocks thing but like i know you like it i expected that to be your favorite to be honest so i i understand your honorable mentions okay what about yours uh, mine i think all i have three again and i think they're all going to be pretty expected so first i have excel gore i don't know if i have talked too much about it but i did a little bit of laddering uh, in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon era, and in OU laddering, I would always use an Excel Gore as my lead with Life Orb, HP Ice, Bug Buzz, Focus Blast, and U-Turn. And man, I love nothing more than to just Oko the lead Landorus right off the bat all the time with that Life Orb, HP Ice. I mean, it's got that speed, but I just, I love that set. Uh, I forget who else did I often, uh, who else would have stayed in against that, that I would get to like focus blast wreck. I can't even remember now, but there were so many times that that set just would like always pick off leads and destroy them. And it was very fun for me. My other two, uh, Galvantula, as I mentioned, you know, part of my first XY team with Mega Heracross, Dub Budge. You know, sticky webs, thunder, volt switch, bug buzz. You can't can't complain about that. Uh, and then lastly, fortress. Uh, you know, as TFS Gaming named it, budge. It's the budge type. Sturdy rocks. Uh, you know, it has some other crazy moves, but it mostly, you know, the rocks, the spin, the spikes. Sturdy. Yeah. So, you know, what do you think about those mods? Uh, well, I forgot how much you liked Excel Gore, but now that you mention it, yeah, I, I can see it. And the other two, yeah, I now that you mention it, I can see those as well. I was expecting them on like Scizor or Mega Scizor to be on your honorable mentions, but now that you mention these two, I can visualize you preferring them over Scizor and Mega Scizor, so I definitely understand uh, your points of view. So what do you think of the budge type? Um... It's one of the weaker types, unfortunately. A lot of bugs are made for early in-game. They evolve early. They have a low uh, skill ceiling. There's low base stats. They're, they're made for early game, you know, not with end-game or competitive usage in mind. And uh, it, it's really holding back the type because there's a lot, of, a lot of bugs, but a lot of them aren't, you know, good competitively but it, it, it isn't all bad there, there's definitely a a fair amount of mon uh, bug mons that are good that uh you know that definitely make this type worthwhile just wish they might buff some of the bugs because a lot of the bugs are cool just aren't you know as powerful as they probably deserve to be how do you feel about bug i mean we gotta talk about gen one bugs being the only thing quote good against uh, psychic except the only move was twin needle which could only be learned by B drill which was poison and would die to psychic always <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you know they're slowly trying to do some good things with bug types introducing you know ones that actually have good base stat totals and giving them like moves that aren't twin needle or mega miss the uh the buff to leech life things like that you know they're they're trying they're trying yeah i mean i think bug types are cool uh you know quiver dance that's the thing and lots of bug types get it and then become good so uh yeah i mean bug types are pretty cool they're much cooler than bugs in real life which are gross <laughs> and that is what i have to say all right so that's a bug type now we'll move on to part two of this episode you're sick 
your life is slowly fading away. You've been poisoned. Perhaps by the waste of your fellow man? Perhaps by a mysterious plant? Perhaps by a venomous creature? Perhaps by one of these Pokemon. The poison type. So yeah, poison types. I went first last time, so why don't you go first this time? What's your favorite poison type? Well, I actually went first last time, but I will go first again this time. Okay. Uh, so my favorite poison type is drug algae. This mon I just think is so cool. Uh, again, I think like a second or third pick that I've had that's just like slow. And this one's not even like kind of slow. This is very slow. I think like 44 base speed or something, but it's just so cool. It's thick, it's special, it's just really cool looking. Adaptability, which is one of the best abilities of all, the adapt one. Yeah, I've just always loved it. You know, Sludge Wave, Hydro Pump, Dragon Pulse. Yeah, I mean, it's part dragon, but to me, like, it's the like, poison part is like the main part of it, even though it is dragon. You know, being able to just be like, yeah, fairy types, I see you exist, but good luck. Like, you really want to try to switch in on this? It was just weird that, like, I liked this so much, I didn't expect it to. And it was my, uh, it was one of my first, first or second playthrough of, of Pokemon Y that I caught and used this thing. And I have been all about it ever since. So yeah, I mean, what do you, what do you think about my Hunter Galgy pick? Uh, I definitely understand it. I know, I know you got that love for Dragalgy. I, I never really thought of it like as one of my favorites. Uh, I definitely like it. Um, it's got, like you said, adaptability is phenomenal. It isn't just an offensive powerhouse too. It has options like toxic spikes and, you know, support options like that. It can't miss toxic. So it, it's a very good Pokemon. I just, it's not one of my favorite types, but I definitely understand why it is one of yours. So, yeah. Right, well, if it's not one of your favorite of the poison types, then who is your favorite of the poison types? Uh, th this was a little hard to narrow down, but ultimately had to go with Toxicroak. Uh, I don't remember why my love for Toxicroak started. One day I was like, I, I, I kind of like this thing. This was back in Gen 4, by the way, like 2008 or 9. I, I just started liking Toxicroak, and it's been you know, one of my favorites ever since. I don't use it you know, nearly as much as I probably should, but you know, I, I just like its design. It, it was a unique typing back when it came out, and it, I believe it still is poison fighting. I can't think of another one. It, it's got you know good setup moves. It's got good uh, priority moves. You know, poison, uh, like we mentioned in an earlier episode, is now a good uh, type offensively because fairy type exists, so that uh, mitigates the fairy weakness that its other typing has, which you mentioned for Dragalgy and its dragon typing. And... Because I haven't used it as much, I don't really have a lot to say about it, so I'm really at a loss for this entry. What, what do you have to say about Toxicroak? I mean, Toxicroak is a cool mod. It was one that I've never, like, used that much, but, you know, this, like, cool fighting frog toad thing is, you know, always a cool theme, and I do have to say I also really like the baby form Krogunk, especially in the anime when Team Plasma? No. Galact Galactic. Galactic. No. Galactic. Yeah, Team Galactic was like trying to do the crazy stuff with the lake trio and whichever one has the toxic croak like went to send it out and Brock had his Krogunk use Sucker Punch like before it came out of the Pokeball so as soon as it came out it got punched in the face and like killed <laughs> and that was that was just that was cool you need to watch that clip if you've never seen it okay but it, that you know so both of the mons in that family are cool is my point okay uh, what about your honorable mentions all right, uh, my honorable mentions. So, you know, there were a lot of poison types in the Gen 1, and I liked a few of them, but I, I think my favorite of the Gen 1 poisons is Muck. You know, it's kind of the the underdog a little bit of them because it's the one that Jesse James didn't have. Like, if there were a third one, they would obviously have had Muck, but it was just the two of them, so they have their Arbok and Weezing, and then there's just this other one chilling. So, you know, I liked Muck. Muck was pretty cool, and definitely very poisony 
And then obviously, you know, got to have my speed represent. And so Crobat's the Mon, you know, it's basically in every single game. And it's, it's real cool always. And I always, yeah, I like that you can like surprise, make it special, especially with a nasty plot. And then, you know, they're like probably like overall just like coolest looking uh, Drapion is, you know, that crazy thing that just can like murder things. And that's all I have to say about Drapion. So what do you think about those three? Okay, first of all, uh, what do you have to say about Alolan Muck? I choose not to say things about Alolan Muck. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, yeah, I don't like Alolan Muck. <laughs> oh, well. I like the regular Muck. I prefer Alolan Muck to regular Muck, uh, competitively and design-wise. Original Muck is cool, but I, I prefer Alolan Muck. Drapion, uh, that's that's your boy. I, I definitely understand uh, why you picked that, because that was, you know, that was always your boy. I've never used Drapion really, so I don't have much to say about that. A Crobat, though, I've used a lot. It was one of my favorites too for quite a while, but I, I don't know. I guess it just fell off for me. Um, it didn't really fall off. I still like it, but I, I know you like it too because it's got that speed, and I know it, you've drafted it multiple times, and it did well for you. So, yep, I understand. And you're you're having the Vietnam flashbacks to the quick attack, I know. <laughs> he still needed Max to knock me out. And then he went back to this. Why are you not <laughs> I definitely outspeed you. Quick attack Crobat! Wait a minute! Crobat gets quick attack? <laughs> we, we we don't talk about that. Oh we're Just mo about it. Mo moving on to my honorable mentions. I have Nittle Queen to begin with. Uh, back in the ground episode, uh, I alluded to liking Nidoking. Queen. Nidoking King is cool too, but I, I've just always liked, I guess, the bulk more so than the offensive capabilities of King. Uh, that's why I prefer Nidoking. Queen. The, the the look is cool too. The purple of Nidoking King is cool, but the the blue uh, color of Nidoking, Queen, I think I like a little better. So there's that. And then also for honorable mention, I have Roserade. Uh, I'm on that I've only really started liking at the tail end of Gen 6 uh, competitively. Just being able to, you know, toxic spikes, uh, put something to sleep. It's got decent speed too, good special attack. It, it's it's a good mon that I overlooked for a criminally long time. And uh, yeah, I just, I just like it. Uh, what do you have to say about those two? I mean, they definitely are mons. I know they're not surprising to me that you really like them. Uh, they're not particularly my favorite or my least favorite. They're just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. They just seem like your mods. <laughs> I, I get that. Okay, so what, what do you have to say about Poison as a whole? It is, kind of has like a bad rap of like being evil with like Team Rocket and all, uh, all the teams really have like poison types, but you know, I, I don't I don't mind it. Uh, I mean, Gen 1, it was definitely bad luck because psychic types. But, you know, it's been making a comeback. And with the fairy types bringing, you know, poison offensive to the table, that's been pretty cool. So, yeah, I mean, I I, I kind of like poison types. What about you? I, I like it, too. I think it used to be more so, like, slowly toxicing and wheeling down your opponent. It just had toxic epitomized that slow i'm going to die feeling that just creeping into your subconscious like oh wow this so this is what toxic is i feel like that uh, epitomizes poison type but more like now that fairy type exists and poison as an offensive type is an option that description i gave isn't as uh solid anymore like it's still solid but it has even more options now so talk uh, poison is even better than it was and i think it was always good uh you know despite like we said the gen one the things and everything but yeah poison poison's cool i i like it so uh i believe that is all unless pockety has anything more to say pockety has said all of the things about poison okay so that has been our entry for the 12 days of pokemon types for uh, bug and poison so be sure to check out next episode until then i'm elegy pockety and we will see you then